Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. In today's video again, five amazing charts, a trading tip, some travel advice, talking about the news, answering one of your questions and giving you some real cool news that you really need to know today about Bitcoin. Also the charts, one of these charts will explain to you exactly, exactly why this is the perfect moment to buy Bitcoin. Let's quickly jump into those charts to show you exactly what I mean. The first chart for today guys is this four hour chart. Check how beautiful that buy signal sell signal i told you yesterday i would get out of this trade because we are closing down below the ls step line and we went a little bit lower so that would be an amazing trade the 10 percent trade over there now we just wait for another buy signal uh, we are too late to enter the sell signal because there's a lot of yellow already a couple of uh, candles uh, we the blue is around that red line turning around to the upside again so we need to wait for another buy signal before we enter guys uh, it could go even lower of course you know we can always fall back to these uh, previous support levels over there like 60k 700 but again uh, this is trading you know whenever you get in it doesn't matter if you make 10 percent you make 10 percent guys now let's zoom out and look at some interesting charts the first one is this one on this chart you can see that we were talking about uh, this bullish flag pattern but that bullish flag pattern is now shifting into a descending broadening wedge what is a descending broadening wedge a broadening wedge it is a broadening wedge that we keep touching the bottom and the top skies very beautiful you can see it over here the top at least the lower top bottom a little bit lower bottom we are in such a wedge here on the right side you can do all your education when you want uh, about the wedge but this is a bullish pattern normally we continue in a bullish way when we break out on the top it's bullish just like you see over here so when we reach that bottom over there that is when we go to the top and that is when we break out again out of the wedge also a bullish pattern it's not a flag anymore but still is a bullish pattern guys then this one the supply held by entities with a balance between 100 and 1000 bitcoins they are considered wills so all the people that have between 100 and 1000 bitcoins have been accumulating a shitload of bitcoins more in this sideways move from 60 to 70k the white line is the price moving up from 60 to 70 to 60 to 70. in that period just check how much more supply is now being held by those huge wallets the whales are accumulating because they understand we are just on 50 percent of the bull market we are going to go double probably to 120k within the next 12 to 18 months so they are accumulating at this level to double their capital they will be taking profits at the top again to buy back the bear market bottom but at the moment all those 100,000 bitcoin hodlers are buying more a shitload of more you should be buying a shitload of more as well and it's also what you see on this chart look into bitcoin of course every time we go sideways in a certain part of the bull market that's when these blue dots arrive the black box over here here again sideways in that black box here again sideways in that black box here again we are going to sideways in the black box and now look what happened after every and each time bam bull market bam bull market bam bull market it will happen again we will see a bam massive bull market understand these charts and if you look at the three day chart so every candle is three days it seems that every time around four months we go up again so we bottom over here you can see that September 2023, four months later, January 2024, we bottom again. Four months later, May 2024, we bottom again. So I expect a very bullish move. Also on the bottom part, you can see bottoming out, bottoming out, bottoming out. Don't wait with buying. This will turn around. These two lines, the blue and the orange, will go again here above that 80 level. And that is when the price will go above that 74K level that we have as an all-time high now. Very important to understand. 
I hope you really enjoy those charts, guys. Yes, in the short term, volatility. Amazing to see how you can trade this. Uh, of course, that widening pattern playing out there. Maybe that will lead into another bullish move, a bullish move all the way up, guys, to that 70, 80K levels that we are expecting for Bitcoin. Um, in the longer term, just zoom out. Look at that bigger picture. Bitcoin is going nowhere but up in the next 12 to 18 months. And the next 12 to 18 months are going to be insane, beautiful months for Bitcoin, guys. This is a bull market. The halving just happened. That's a very important moment. We are just going sideways for a couple of weeks, months. And after that, we went sideways, we will move up again. And that move that will be insane. There will be that second part of move that you will see a huge, huge euphoric feeling inside. And then that euphoric feeling will tell you that it's a bull market top, guys. Amazing views here on the top of this hill. So when it comes to Bitcoin, please zoom out, look at that bigger picture, look at all the four year cycles that happened before and what will happen after the halving. And when it comes to life, you need to zoom in and enjoy every single minute of the day. Don't start to freak out or cry about all those minute charts and that volatility. Stop crying, start buying. The trading tip for today, guys, is about tracking the exchange inflows. You need to understand how this works. If there is not too many exchange inflows, it means people are not prepared to sell their Bitcoins because they will hold their Bitcoins in their self-custody wallets. They are not putting them on the exchanges to be able to quickly sell them. So if there is no inflows to the exchanges, people trust that the Bitcoin price will go higher and higher and higher. At the moment, after the 74K top, we are experiencing a 10 year low exchange inflow. A 10 year low. The last time we were as low as now is when the Bitcoin price was around $1,000. That is how low the exchange inflow is. $1,000, that is like in 2016 when I started trading Bitcoin. That is the last time when the exchange inflow was as low as it is now. So always track these inflows. If there is not many inflows, People expect the Bitcoin price to go higher and higher and higher. The moment they start to shift from their self-custody wallets into exchanges, that is the moment they are going to prepare to sell the Bitcoins or exchange them into stablecoins. At least nowadays they are doing that. There is going to be a huge change in an exchange that I will show you in a couple of minutes that might change all these numbers in the future, guys. So let's quickly jump into the next part to show you that. But before we do that, guys, we first go into the travel tip. The travel tip for today, again, is a travel tip about Spain. If you're coming from a tipping culture, like in the United States, you know, where it's normal to tip a lot, 10%, 20%, 25% tips, when you would arrive to Spain, you would experience that tipping is not normal over here. If you don't tip, they don't even look strange. They don't expect you to tip. Of course, they will appreciate if you tip, for example, 10%, but 10% tip in Europe is a very high tip. So if you're a United States person coming to Europe, don't tip the way you tip in the United States because you are ruining our market over here, guys. We are like normally a tip when you have very good food, very good service is around 10%. But that's only when the service and the food is good, not when the waiter forgets your drinks or when the food is not good or your beef not like medium, then you don't tip. I know it's a tipping culture in the United States. Even in Mexico, they just automatically deducted like 15% from uh, my bill because of the tips. That's not normal in Europe and definitely not in Spain. In the Netherlands, yes, very appreciated when you do a tip. But in Spain, there is just no tipping culture. Every time when I do a tip, they look at me like, huh? Are you giving a tip? So 90% of the people doesn't tip, I think. And I probably belong to the 10% that does tip. So the travel tip for Spain, if you're from the United States or any other culture that has tipping culture, it is not like normally to tip in Spain. It is appreciated, but it's not the standard. So you're not expected to tip every time when you go for dinner or buy something else, guys. That was the travel tip for today. As there was no valid question that I could find down below my video, guys, uh, I'm going to educate you a little bit more about what could change the timeline of inflows and the importance of inflows in the future. Because now we are tracking the inflows. How many Bitcoins are on the exchanges? Are people prepared to sell their Bitcoins or are they holding for the long term and waiting for the bull market top? I just told you we are on a 10 year low when it comes to inflow on exchanges. So that's a low, low. That's like 2016 low or something like that, or 2014 even. Now, at the moment, there is one shift in the market that could change the importance of those numbers. 
and that shift is decentralized exchanges as we don't know or cannot analyze how many bitcoins will be connected to those decentralized exchanges as they are on the trader's own wallet they are not sent to the exchanges and as you all know apex pro is my favorite exchange when it comes to a decentralized exchange it's just the best order book exchange that there is there that almost has the same user interface and feeling as a centralized exchange like bybit but now there is huge news as apex pro is launching omni and Omni is a huge step for Apex Pro and decentralized exchanges. Omni is an aggregated multi-chain liquidity trading framework and it's built on a modular intent-centric architecture. I know it's a lot of difficult words, but when you start to read the light paper of the Apex Pro Omni exchange, you will be blown away. This is a huge step for decentralized exchanges. So I invite you all to read the light paper of the Apex Omni Exchange. I'm going to post a tweet on X today with all the links that you need to read. But you need to start to prepare to trade on decentralized exchanges. And it's by far the safest way. You will be able to connect your own wallet to an exchange and trade. And yes, also with leverage. And because of Omni, also cross-chain. And because of Omni, also spot pairs. And because of Omni, many more things. You will be able to read them all in the light paper. Please take 10 minutes today to read that light paper and understand exactly what Omni is going to do for Apex Pro. It's a huge step. It's a very important step. And especially pay some attention to the roadmap. And on that roadmap, you will see spot trading, perpetual trading, pre-market trading, community vaults for liquidity provision, and a social trading platform all combined in one trading platform apex pro omni guys make 10 minutes free today to read that live paper it's going to be a very important one for you guys if you want to trade very safely the way you're trading now on bybit or any other centralized exchange but then in a decentralized way a very safe way if you want to understand how to do this please take 10 minutes today to read that light paper and please do understand that the dex market is growing tremendously between 2021 and 2022 we went from 35 million users to 70 million users Users. And from 2022 to 2023, we went from 70 million users to 110 million users. So more and more people start to understand decentralized exchanges and trading in a decentralized way. And now that Apex Pro Omni will lead to even more adoption, because people now can trade exactly the same like they were trading on a centralized exchange, but now when they hold self-custody on all their tokens and cryptos really important step so please make some time to research this the news for today is about bitcoin becoming a yield generating asset because of stepping stones like runes and yes i say stepping stones because these are just the small stepping stones that will lead to a complete DeFi industry being built on the bitcoin blockchain and that is huge just imagine that everything that you saw being built on Ethereum in the last years can now also be built on the Bitcoin blockchain. The safest Bitcoin blockchain out there. There is no second best. Yes, you know which representation I'm referring to. The Bitcoin blockchain is the king of blockchains. And when it now becomes possible because of ruins and probably many other stepping stones that will build a complete new DeFi industry on the Bitcoin blockchain, then believe me, more and more companies are going to build their projects on the Bitcoin blockchain because it's just the best, safest, robust blockchain that there is in this world. That's why Bitcoin is king. It has never stopped. It was never halted. It has never been reversed. It has never issues. It was online 24-7 for the last 15 years. Not like all these other blockchains with all their issues. So when now everything will be possible to be built on the Bitcoin blockchain, then believe me, a shitload of builders will start to build on that Bitcoin blockchain. So please keep your eyes on all those projects that are starting to build on the Bitcoin blockchain through ruins or through any other possibility that they can in the future. Because that is going to lead to a mass adoption in Bitcoin. Just see how the DeFi supported Ethereum. Nobody would have bought Ethereum token if there would have not been any building abilities on the Ethereum blockchain. Because people could build projects on the Ethereum blockchain, that is exactly why people started to accumulate Ethereum. There was no other reason. Simple as that. And now Runes is that first stepping stone to be able for builders to start building a DeFi industry on the Bitcoin blockchain. Believe me, this is going to change a lot for the Bitcoin adoption as more and more builders, companies are going to build now on the Bitcoin blockchain the safest and the best 
blockchain out there. Very important news. Please read the article on uh, Cointelegraph and you can see exactly what I'm referring to. But do your own research in this industry every time again when we are renewing, when we see these new things happening like runes, like the possibilities of building a DeFi industry now on the Bitcoin blockchain. And also, of course, about those decentralized trading platforms like Apex that are now changing the industry. Always keep an eye on all of these new inventions in this industry, guys. The inspirational quote for the day, guys, comes from a song that I always play when I worry. And that song, I think, is from Bobby McFerrin and it's called Don't Worry, Be Happy. Don't worry. That one. You know that one? Yes. I really like that passage. In life, expect some trouble, but when you worry, you make it double. So don't worry, be happy. And that's exactly how I think that you should treat life. Don't worry too much. Stop worrying. It doesn't give you anything but negative energy. If you worry about everything, what does it bring you? Just analyze all those situations that you were worrying about something. What did it bring you? It didn't bring you anything. You're not moving ahead because you worry. You're not solving the problem because you worry. There's no use case to that worrying. Stop worrying. Start living to the fullest. That's what I would say. So whenever in life you're running into a massive amount of troubles, don't worry. Because if you worry, you make it double. Zoom out, look at life, look at all the beautiful moments that you already had in life. Don't zoom in on all the issues and the problems. That will only make it more difficult for you to live the life to the fullest, to live the life that you deserve to live. Simple as that. I really love that quote, guys, because in life, we all should expect some trouble. But when you start worrying, you will be making a double. So don't worry, be happy. That was everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy the video, give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about the charts? What do you think about the tips? What do you think about everything else? Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow again.